Hey everyone, it's Erica and welcome back to the studio. Today I thought it'd be really fun to show you what I have in my bag here. This is my stationary bag, so to speak, and I decided on bringing a few journals and a few stationary items with me on an upcoming trip to the woods. It's not exactly like a camping trip, it's more like a cabin trip. I want to do some journaling. I know that it's gonna be kind of hard to do that with all of the activities we have planned, but I'm gonna try my hardest to do that anyway. So without further ado, let's see what I have decided to bring. First of all, this is the donut backpack. It's the standard size and I got the color hazelnut, I believe. I love this backpack because it's super functional, but it's also very cute. I love the leather straps and the unique hardware. I think it's just really, really nice looking. So it's a nice alternative to that other really popular brand of backpacks. And I, for some reason, can't think of the name, but I chose the donut and I think it's, it's really, really comparable in quality. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what's in the front pocket here. This is my current planner. It's the A6 Stalogy Undated Notebook, so I'll let you see what it looks like on the inside. There's a really faint grid and there's these like very subtle dates at the top that you can mark. I don't use that part because I feel like it's really hard to read. It's super tiny, but I'm currently using this as my bullet journal. So it's not decorative at all. I decided to go super minimal because I needed it to be more functional than beautiful. And I still love being creative in my notebooks, but I decided that for my planner, I just really need it to be absolutely 100% like minimal and functional. I can talk more about that in another video. Um, I've got a bunch of calendars in the beginning and then the rest of it is just a page a day for my to-do list. Oh, and this is the Hobonichi Techo 2019 pen. It's a multi-pen with three different colors and I just think it's really convenient to have those colors in one pen so that I can color code different things in my planner. All right, let's close that back up. Let me just go ahead and take everything out of this main compartment. I first have the iPad Pro. It's the 11 inch one, I believe. And I've also got my Apple Pencil attached to the side. That fits nicely in this back part right here. And it's really padded and thick, so that's nice to know that'll be protected. Then I have my two traveler's notebooks. So this is my regular size traveler's notebook in brown and then I have my passport size traveler's notebook in camel and um, let's go ahead and open this one first. This one is my main journal. I've got my little camera charm that I recently purchased and I also zhuzhed up my uh, traveler's notebook with the cotton zip pocket which I love. So this is really convenient to kind of put all of the stationery that I want inside. I like to decorate my journal pages, as you probably know if you're on this channel a lot. And so I decided on a few things that are just easy to stick into these pockets. I've got some die cut stickers here. I've got a few like random film strips and a tiny pair of scissors in here. I've got some of my own stickers in these pockets. So these small ones I like to stick in here and then I've got some full size ones. These are a few of my favorite that I use all the time. And then I've got some washi tape samples that I just took off the roll and put on this tag here. This is the journal that I'm using right now, the third volume for the year. And I am really afraid that I'm gonna run out 
before the year is up because it's already almost halfway done and um, yeah, so I have one more insert as a backup over here just in case I run out of room here. It's only the middle of September, so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room for October, November, and December in just half of an insert. We'll see. Then in the back part of that zipper pocket, I've got a variety of different scrap papers, neutrals of course, because that's what I'm really into right now, and some uh, scrap of paper. I just rip it up and put it into this back pocket and I can always just kind of decorate a spread on the go really quickly. So this zipper pocket is really cool. It's super thin and sturdy and I feel like it doesn't add too much bulk to my traveler's notebook, but I can still fit my favorite pieces of collage material in there. On this side, I have um, a craft file folder. I've got a few pieces of watercolor paper in here. And then this is that backup insert I was telling you about. I think I'm gonna use this for the rest of the year because I just have this feeling that I'm not gonna have enough room in this one. And then I also have a writing board. So I like to use this for when I'm stamping or writing and um, I need to protect the other page underneath. So it's a little dirty, but yeah, that's my writing board. And that's it for my regular sized one. I also like to have this clip attached somewhere because it's nice to hold open the notebook. So I'm gonna put that back right in here. As for my passport size traveler's notebook, I've got an airplane charm and I also have a zip pocket for this one. I got the blue one. And then I have some more of my small sized sticker sheets. These are like samplers that I give out with my sticker orders. And then I've got a few other random pieces of ephemera. Most of these scrap papers are just leftovers from when I decorate my regular sized traveler's notebook pages. So I like to have these in there. This is just a catch-all notebook, just jot down reminders or like ideas, brainstorming on the go. I think it's always nice to have a notebook like that, some sort of commonplace book. And I decorated this one a while ago with some of my own stickers. In this pocket, I've got some random bits and bobs, just random paper goods, you know, some calendar stickers and I like to think that when I'm out, if I have like receipts, tickets, you know, maybe I'll just stick it in there as a memento. Then on this side, I've got some random pieces of dotted scrap paper, just in case I want to jot something down on loose paper. And then I've got this blank insert, kind of like a backup sketchbook, I guess. I've got one of those mini writing boards. It's a very similar setup to my regular size, but just in miniature form. And instead of being a journal, it's more like an idea notebook. All right, so that's my passport size traveler's notebook. There are a couple more things that I have in the main compartment. Let's start with the pencil case. This is Paco Tray. It's a really cool denim pencil case. And it actually opens up to have three compartments, which I thought was so cool. Again, this is from Jet Pens because I get everything from Jet Pens, and lo and behold, more things from Jet Pens. I have two different size brush pens. This is a larger tip, and then this is the smaller tip. And I just like to have two different sizes just in case I want to make different size lettering, I guess. Brush lettering in my journal. Then I've got my smallest ruler, and this one is kind of getting a little bit rough around the edges, so might have to replace that soon. Currently, I am in love with the Kaveco Sport fountain pen. It's super tiny, and I just feel like it's really good for travel. So this is the only fountain pen that I'm bringing on this trip. I'm leaving all my other ones at home, but I think it's really nifty to have a small fountain pen like that. 
And then for any type of sketching, I have this section here, which is just a mechanical pencil and two erasers. One is like a Sakura black eraser, and then this one is a kneadable eraser, self-cleaning for those little areas. So I think that one's really fun to play with. This is the Tombow mechanical pencil and it's 0.9 and I have kind of like the darkest lead that I could find. I just really love this pencil. It's kind of like a pencil that I want to keep for life, but it has probably like six pieces of lead in here, which is really convenient. So hopefully I won't need to refill it on this trip. Probably not. And it's got a cap so I just feel like it's more convenient for travel because it is capped and um, it's not like I have to sharpen the pencil or anything so that's why I went with a mechanical pencil this is my glasses case currently wearing my glasses so they're not in there but I like to keep it on this side and then this is actually not stationary related at all this is my makeup bag so, I mean, I don't really know if you'd be interested in specifically what kind of makeup I use. All right, this is pretty much all the makeup that I use. So I just like to keep that with my stationery. I think this part of the backpack is super cool. I love having lots of pockets for organization. So let me show you what I've got in each one. First, I like to keep some mints in here because it's always nice to have fresh breath. <laughs> in this pocket, I've got two different types of glue. This is a Kokio glue stick and this is the Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. It's like glue tape, basically, or something like that, but super convenient for collaging. In this pocket here, I've got a drawing glove so I don't smear when I draw because graphite tends to do that. And then in this pocket, I have my wallet and my earphones. So that is pretty much it for my backpack. Oh my gosh! I forgot that I wanted to bring my Instax camera. So I totally forgot that I wanted to bring my Instax camera to take Polaroid pictures. So I like to keep it in my little case here. It's really handy to have this for journaling and also just to give away to friends. I think it's super fun. So I'm gonna stick that in there as well. I feel like I've done a pretty good job of keeping it to a minimum. I definitely could have packed a lot more stuff, but I know that I get over ambitious with the amount of stuff that I decide to cram into my travel itineraries. So yeah, let me know what you would pack and what kind of things you like to bring on your travels. I will try to link everything that I've mentioned in the description below, but if you have any questions, just leave that in the comments as well. And until the next video, happy journaling, happy art making. I'll see you next time. Bye.